Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday morning. I'm loving life. I've got my coffee. My dad's just made me a really nice coffee. It's his birthday today. Me and David decorated the house last night when everyone went to bed at like one o'clock. We had to prep it, make it all nice and special. I feel like this year we've made, put a bit more effort into birthdays and like decorating the house. Like usually we don't really do that for birthdays we only really decorate the house for christmas and on the occasion halloween i feel like we've gone above and beyond this year um by getting like balloons and banners and stuff um just to make it sort of that extra bit special i <laughs> i just i didn't even feel your presence there that really scared me but yeah anyway i've had a delivery this morning that i've been waiting for all weekend and it's finally here um from asda uh, I think if you've watched my last vlog, you'll know that I'm working with Asda and by the time you see this all of the work will have been done on Instagram. Oh, it's quite light. Interesting. So we've got this box from Asda here. We're excited to open it up. So I, in here, I think we've got a variety of Halloween goodies because I'm working on a Halloween campaign, like night in vibes, like chilling inside for Halloween. I'm so shook. Right, maybe I'll put it in from this perspective just so you can see what I'm seeing. Oh my god, Azra have gone crazy <laughs> and sent me so Oh my god, there's a huge one. Oh, this is going to be so fun to decorate hmm. after literally just saying. So they've sent me over like decorations, we've got food, um, and we've actually got costumes in here as well, I believe. So let's have a, a little look. A dead bat <laughs> skeleton, and we've got a spider skeleton. Oh, these are going to be so fun, like to add to our Halloween things. Ah, oh, sweets, sweets or something. Somewhere. We've got like a little sweet Halloween spider bowl. There are some spookalicious fairy cakes. You can get everything you want for Halloween at Asda. Mm. Actually, oh, a black rose. Very interesting. We've got some pumpkin LED lights. <gasps> Is that like a cocktail shaker? Yeah. Oh my is. god. Oh god. <laughs> Seriously. Who is that? Oh, oh! God. That is terrifying! <laughs> that is the most terrifying thing I've ever received in a package, we'll but see. I love it. Oh, these are going to be so sick, especially like next year when hopefully Halloween goes back to normal as well. Oh my god, this would be well good um, if I had this when I was doing forensics. Do you know what I mean? I could look at yeah. all of the sutures. I mean, I don't think this is going to be accurate, but... <laughs> the final things we've got in here, we've got some beer pong um, Halloween cups a bottle spinning game we've got some little like lantern things that we can hang um on the ceiling and then we've got all of our costumes which you'll see in the post so if you haven't seen that go check it out on insta carrie was just saying carrie's on facetime over here hello we were just saying how this would have been so good if i was at uni and like could have like a little ha flat halloween party what are you up to today miss mrs carrie pendle just making a coffee for everyone and that's it for the day hey <laughs> productive monday let's go so um i've come around bailey's and we are shooting for the asda campaign if you haven't seen bailey go watch my other vlog we had like a little karaoke session in bailey's car last week but i've brought all of this asda stuff to decorate bailey's room and we're gonna make it all halloween themed it's gonna be fun <laughs> But this is a serious behind the scenes for the <laughs> vlog. <laughs> so this is how we decide to decorate Bailey's room. So we've got the terrifying woman that I showed earlier in the corner. We've unraveled her and she's looking super scary. <laughs> we've got the boo balloons. They're my favourite. I love the boo balloons. Little banners. We've got their dead hanging bat. <laughs> hanging off the cobwebs we've got the like cute little decorations and then we just had some halloween cupcakes and some hot chocolates that are covered in our lipstick <laughs> and this is our costume so i've got like a nice little cape on <laughs> bailey's got a where's my hat oh oh it's on the floor and we're looking super scary if you ask me 
So I have come back from Bailey's and back in my cozies. I just took my lipstick off and my lips are stained with MAC Rebel. I love that lipstick, but one, I don't feel like I can pull purple lipstick off anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm too old for it. Um, and also it just stains my lips for ages. So um, that's not a vibe, um, but it's my dad's birthday. We decorated the house last night. Um, like I said, and we've just ordered some takeaways. So me and David have got pizza. Mum and Dad have gone for an Indian. And our pizzas have just arrived. <gasps> Yay. Yay. I've gone for chicken and onion. And we've got some garlic pizza bread. Yummy. Um, our Domino's was so good, wasn't it? I literally couldn't finish it. Um, and then we just played Linky, which is one of my favourite games that we bought on holiday. And now me and Dave are watching the Sidemen in my room, you know? I'm just going to plan out my day for tomorrow whilst we're watching it so I can get organised because I've got a very busy week now out of nowhere. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday and I am off to the post office to drop off some Depop parcels down here, I've got like this whole bag full of them, um, I'm just doing like a big Depop post today. This morning I've just done some like bits in my room like tidying up a bit, um, I still have so much work to do in my room in terms of tidying and sorting everything out. I just feel like I've been so backlogged because I've been really busy and then I've just changed my duvet set, I will show you when we get back, um, to the fluffiest duvet set from Online Home Shop, I'm sure that's what it's called, I will leave it on the screen and down below, but they have the coziest teddy bear duvets and I've never had one before. Carrie had one in her old flat and it was the coziest thing ever and my room gets really cold because it's downstairs and in the garage. Um, it was like my room was a converted garage so my room gets really cold like in the winter so it's literally going to be so perfect. I'll show you that when I get back in case any of you are interested um, and yeah literally just gonna drop my stuff off at the post office, maybe grab a coffee and get back, start carrying on with some work. I've got to film a couple of reels, one's for a brand so I really do need to get that done today because the deadline's tomorrow um, as long as I get it sent by tomorrow so I ideally want to do that and then I'm actually going out for a coffee with one of my old friends Joel if you saw last week's vlog I went to the post office and he actually works like sort of near where the post office is and I had no idea and we used to do like loads of shows together I hadn't seen him in like three or four years now so I was like oh my god and we like bumped into each other and had a little chat so we're gonna go for a nice socially distanced coffee um uh about two o'clock so yeah i need to get my shit together and get sorted before then yay <laughs> so if you're ever intrigued about how i film my reels at home um i'm just doing my primark reel how insane is this you'll see it in a primark haul um that went up a few weeks ago i set up my ring light literally this side of my room i put all of my stuff that i'm shooting with on this sofa because barney hates this sofa he always sleeps on the um other one and literally just doesn't Come on here so I know he won't attack my stuff. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I set my ring light up here um, and then I get out my tripod, shoots vertically rather than horizontally, whereas you can only shoot horizontally on my ring light. It does take a while to set everything up, but um, when it's all set up, it's all, all good. Right, so I have just been for a lovely coffee and catch up with Joel. And it was just so nice to like have a chat with him. Really lovely. And now this evening I'm actually randomly decided to go out for food with Bailey because she really helped me out yesterday with the Asda campaign that I was shooting um, and it was all very last minute and like a lot of things got changed so yeah I really wanted to thank her so I thought we'd go out for a nice little meal might be in Wagamama's might not be um <laughs> we have a feast <laughs> literally so much food yeah. <laughs> right so I am now back home um, I actually brought these. These are one of my favourite snacks ever from m and I thought this would help me get through the evening because me and Carrie have got a lot of work to do for consistency. But yeah, I've had a really nice day. It's very excited to be back home. Cracking on with consistency in a second. But I did want to show you this. I forgot to show you earlier. So Superdrug sent me a parcel. Um, I've got a virtual event with them later on this week. So this is the package they sent me. We've got like a virtual masterclass to celebrate Halloween with Eve Jenkins, who is going to be um, hosting the masterclass, I think. And they've sent me like a little box of goodies. Um, but they've sent over like a little headband. We've got some lashes here. And um, these are all like super drug own brand. They've actually sent a revolution palette. So this is their um, Forever Flawless Midnight Rose palette. This looks 
fun with lots of different colours involved. We've got some like red hairspray, which is exciting, fake blood, prep and set mist, um, a nails ink, uh, blame it on the glitter ball red glitter nail polish there's a red pigment here from revolution um then we've also got a barry m red matte lipstick and then we've got some bits here we've got like a mascara from b a coal liner and a defining duo liner uh pigment in the shade ziggy i'm very excited to do that little halloween master class for that oh my god yeah i forgot to show you fr from earlier all right so online home shop sent me this duvet they actually sent me this blanket and it's literally the softest blanket ever in the corner and um, but i put on this duvet set and it is the softest thing ever so i highly recommend if you're looking for a good like borg fluffy duvet set if your room's as cold as mine in the winter then you definitely need one of these and i really like that it's that oatmeal -y sort of color and um, it's just very me so yeah i thought i'd quickly show you that and then da, 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 we've got the degusta box of the month october's degusta box i'm very excited to open this up and see what's inside they actually messaged me earlier on in the week um, and by earlier on in the week i mean yesterday i keep forgetting that it's tuesday that they're doing their first ever advent calendar this year and i am buzzing you guys know how much i love degusta box if you've been following me for a while i've got them throughout my entire time at uni i just love them so much and they're coming out with their first ever advent calendar so stay tuned if you want to see that content because that'll probably be in the next weekly vlog oh my god they've advertised it in here it's going to be 33 pounds 99 with a total value of 50 pounds this is what it's going to look like <gasps> that is so exciting and it's 24 days as well it's not even like a 12 day thing it's 24 days of goodness food goodness as well so if you're a foodie or if someone in your family or your friendship groups are foodie that you want to treat them to like a a good present then maybe get them an advent calendar as like a an early christmas present this month's box is called movie night and halloween themed so inside we have oh i've heard really good things about these so we've got some ollie's pretzel thins salted original and the multi-seed sesame so they're like little oven baked um crispy sort of snacks which is literally perfect for like a movie night it's all the snacky foods which i'm very excited about we've also i've had one of these in my digester boxes before this attacker snack nachos snack kit I feel like a lot of people when they go to watch a film feel like nachos are a very popular snack choice i we've got some chocolate filled crepes this is such a good box so we've got kit kat senses i bloody love these a lot they've got the hazelnut praline salted caramel and double chocolate in here and then we've got i think this is these are the products of the month i believe which are pl yes plant protein bars so we've got the cashew blueberry and dark chocolate and the almond peanut and double dark chocolate this is what they look like um then we've also got a cashew and oat cookie from wild berries so it's like an organic vegan brand like a little vegan snack we love to see it and um, then we've also got a flapjack here from Bryn Mawr. this looks a very thick like a very thick snack i'm very excited to indulge i love a flapjack it's recently become my thing Ooh, we've got um naked noodles malaysian style rendang curry it's a veggie pot with mushrooms and broccoli so we've got quite a lot of like veggie vegan stuff in this box this month which is great to see saint pierre and they've sent over six brioche burger buns rich and soft with a beautifully buttery taste i actually really love brioche so this is like super random but like fun if you're like having a, a movie night in you want to make some like burgers for you and the fam you and the flatmates and then exciting stuff we've got some hot chocolate from maltesers here then finally I actually really need some like new coffee so we've got some instant coffee with finely ground beans smooth medium roast from costa coffee so we've got some like a real nice mix of, of well-known brands and some like upcoming independent businesses which i really love um which is why i love degusta box because i can try lots of new things even from brands that i already love and new brands and um, they've also got like a puzzle on the back i think they do sort of like puzzles and like fun things to get involved with for competition so make sure you go check out their socials but if you want to get your box for i think three pounds off full price 
I've got a code, I'll leave it on the screen and down below, but it's genuinely so worth it, even if you want to try it out for one month just to see if it's a bit of you. It's affordable, you get to try new products, you get to discover new things, and if you're a massive foodie or love, like, snacky foods, then this is the best thing. I've just finished a FaceTime call with Carrie. We have been on FaceTime for the last, like, four or five hours doing some work. These days, I have, like, nothing planned for the week, and then suddenly, like, builds up, and my whole planner is just cluttered with loads of stuff that I need to do which is obviously great because I like being really busy and it just is really good for my mind um so yeah it's working out quite well at the minute which is nice whilst I'm like obviously working at home and having different bits to do literally today has been the first day in so long where I've actually done everything from my to-do list like I was so time efficient today which is great um maybe I'll film like a more in-depth video of like how to stay productive during a day like I have quite a lot of like product productivity tips like time management tips and stuff like that so if you want me to do like a full video on like stop stopping procrastinating and focusing a lot more on what you've got to do then I would love to do that because I feel like I've absolutely nailed it today sometimes though I have days where I'm procrastinate constantly like I mean me and Carrie procrastinated so much on FaceTime then when we could have done the job probably like in three hours rather than five praise myself for actually getting all my work done today I'll see you in the morn good morning everyone good morning everyone good morning so i didn't vlog yesterday it's now thursday um i was just super busy yesterday doing work and it was super boring so i didn't want to film and you know it was just unnecessary i'm actually going to into northampton today with megan we're going into northampton to support the local businesses and the independent businesses in northampton i am showcasing it on my instagram Northampton Council got in touch with my management. I'm doing that today and I, I feel like that is something that's so important. Like it's really upsetting me at the amount of places that I used to go to or that I heard about that were independent that have been like really badly affected by the pandemic, whether they're closed now or can barely open and are really struggling and um, to pick up their feet again. I'm really planning on making today really nice and trying to find as many independent places in Northampton as possible to support, share, um, and hopefully get more people back out safely, um, safely going out and helping support the businesses. Barney's just going crazy down here trying to eat my pillow, so I'm gonna stop him from doing that and I'll catch up with you when I'm off to Northampton with Meg. <laughs> so I am all ready to go to Northampton. Um, me and Meg have been like discussing and I've been trying to plan out where we want to go because we've got like quite a tight time frame because I have to get back for a super drug virtual event tonight. Um, it's like Halloween themed. I'm really excited for it. Um, but that means we've got less time in Northampton. So we've had to like proper schedule like where we want to go. But I'm really excited to like sort of show you guys some independent businesses if you live around here or if you go to Northampton a lot, maybe Northampton Uni, I don't know. And I can get the content I need to for my Instagram um, and send that off. What, what basically happens is I send off my stories for approval. They send me a brief of what they want me to cover. Um, and this one's pretty open again. It's like, do what, go to some independent businesses and show them off. And then I send them off and then they just approve it just to make sure I haven't said anything weird. So they're not essentially telling me what to say because I think that's like a common misconception with ads content. Like they, uh, a lot of people think that a brand's told us what to say or told me like what to do or how to act when they sort of just give you like a brief that i like having a lot of like creative freedom and free reign but yeah so that's what i'm doing today i'm gonna take some instagram stories i'm wearing this cute new jumper from boohoo it is literally the most flattering like oh, i just feel so confident in it and now i really want the other colors i think there's a black and maybe a brown um but yeah i'm fully obsessed with this it's like sort of off the shoulder long sleeves it's really thick and sort of like premium -y, a lot more premium than the usual boohoo quality um sorry about the mess in my room like there's just so much shit in here at the minute and then I've got these khaki jeans are also boohoo that you've seen before with the rips in. I love them so much. These are a 14, the tops are 12. Um, and then I've got my nasty gal boots on that I'm obsessed with. And then jewellery. I'm wearing a different necklace for once shock um i'm actually wearing a necklace from by mesh on instagram they do some really cool like quirky jewelry and then i'm also wearing my earrings that i wear every day from millie grace jewelry my bracelets anna louisa and we're gonna go off to meet meg i might put a trench coat on don't know how cold it is she's the it girl the one to 
to know Out of your dreams She makes it known She's aliens But no one knows What I know What I know She'll chew you up And spit you out She'll take your soul Without a doubt She'll break your heart Cause no one knows What I know What I know It does. So me and Meg are in Northampton. It looks nice. Yeah, but it looks so why. nice today. I think it's because it's like sunny and quiet. And quiet. That's supposed to be like an old, like a family-run pub or something. Nice. Um, but we're just going around Northampton, it's having a look fun. at the small businesses. And but it looks so nice. Like all, I think it's the autumn trees as well. Nice um, but this is probably the nicest area to be fair. Like all down there. So we're gonna just go around. We've been into. Mooch, which is like a really cute little like gift shop. Like if you're looking for Christmas mm. gifts and you live around here, it's actually like so nice. And really the family that run it are like so friendly. we're so friendly as well. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go. Maybe we go to Market Square now because we're here. We're yeah. And then go find the cheese place. <laughs> just went to the market square and I got some flowers to take home for mum and now we've found like this really cute like pizza pizza like Italian place and look how cute it is in here it's called Nuovo and it's like sort of tucked away off Abington Street um, and we've got our little what's it called Hugo's um, which is like elderflower prosecco cocktaily things mm -hmm. and we've just ordered food we've both got like gone for this bread to share and then we've got pastas coming and it's so pretty You're the one, but you don't know what I know. I know what she's got for you. So I've just got back from Northampton and I'm back for my super drug Halloween virtual event. Grabbing some eye brushes because Eve Jenkins is doing like a masterclass and we're starting off with eyeshadow. Like you were doing like a really big, messy flick and seeing how I'm just like rubbing the brush backwards and forwards just to keep that in a line. Okay, so just finished the masterclass. I am no makeup guru. I love these like virtual masterclasses because I am so shit at makeup, so Eve has smashed it. I feel like this is way better than what I would have been able to create on my own. I know I'm still not perfect, but I actually really like this look. I think it's so simple and easy for Halloween. I wanna take some photos now because, you know, I'm not actually going out for Halloween this year. Halloween's, I'm, I'm not like a massive fan of Halloween itself. I just love like all of the parties around Halloween, like and getting dressed up. I'm not creative enough to like do my own makeup, but I feel like I've done an okay job for me. I really like this. Imagine this with like a black dress and I don't know. I really like it. So yeah, thank you very much to Superdrug and Eve for inviting me onto the masterclass. I've had a lovely time. And Good afternoon. I did actually bring my camera out, but I forgot to put the SD card in. So we're filming on the phone. So my day started very late. Oh my God, I'm literally getting through all this, wading through this mud again. <laughs> yeah, me and Dave have just taken Barney for an afternoon walk. Um, so hopefully this sets me up nicer for the day because I, like I said, I've done fuck all, sweet fuck all. Um, but I did feel like I needed, I just felt really like burnt out and like I was putting too much pressure and work on myself. So it's really nice to have a relaxing morning and I know I'm gonna be working all weekend. So I sort of had this morning as my time off, as my little weekend. <laughs> it's Ellie Tyrrell's birthday today, so I've just put some stuff on Insta for her. I um, hope she has a nice day. I'm really sad that I can't like celebrate with my friends. I All of a sudden, 
Things have changed, stay inside and we will survive World is in pause, the earth a pause and we are breathing better Time to carry, we've got some very exciting little things all booked Oh she's got her little red glasses on <laughs> We're actually gonna have like a tidy up session after I've had my dinner. Um so that'll be that'll be fun, like a virtual tidy up session just to motivate us. Um YouTube video. Yeah, maybe we should declutter together. Declutter with me and my guests. How would that work? I don't know. But I just thought I'd show you a couple of PR bits before I start tidying stuff away. So I've got this, oh god, my room is so chaotic. Um I've got some sweaters from Daisy Street. If you're looking for some like cute cozy loungewear, then Daisy Street is perfect. Um and this is the mint stargazer sweater, which I really love. It's like proper look at this colour, Carrie. How would you describe it? It's mint, isn't it? Mint, yeah. It's like almost neon mint in a way. It's like, um, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? What colour is that called? What colour is that called? Because it's not it's lime. Like baby neon mint. Baby neon mint green. And then we've got a lovely grey is always a classic. A grey sweater. And we've got some like pink details um at the top here. Oh god. And it says New York City on. And it's just so cosy. And I'll leave everything down below so you can check out um, Daisy Street and all the other brands that I'm going to show. And then I've got some stuff from Brand Nation. They've sent over some products from um, Amira London. And we've got a... Uh, liquid gold argan oil that's supposed to be really good at like strengthening your nails moisturizing your skin so like it's like a multi-purpose brand where the products like are good for your hair nails and skin and then we've got some moroccan clay mask can be used for your hair and your skin too and then finally I've got some bits over here from Superdrug, it's a winter health essentials kit and I've sent over lots of different bits in here so we've got like a hot water bottle, we've got some bone health calcium, vitamin D, chewable tablets, we've got some immune defence, we've got some multivitamins, hay fever and allergy relief, oral drops, cold and flu relief, eye drops, eczema shower gel, um, loads of different bits in here for the colder months. Yeah that's it. Right, so I actually haven't spoken today, it's Saturday, and me and Carrie are basically having a business weekend. We're trying to sort out the second edition of our Rise and Grind Beginner's Guide to Instagram Growth ebook. We wanted to create like a second version, so all of the stuff is updated, we've got new sections, like um, covering like virtual events as the pandemic's obviously affected quite a lot of like things so on socials and... Um, I was thinking it's crazy how quickly everything has change like we wrote this in april mm -hmm. like it just goes to show how quickly like things online are like yeah evolving yeah evolving yeah so we're just like getting the finishing touches and sorting out the last bits together this weekend so it will be available by the time you see this so if you've actually bought the book before you can get the new edition at a discounted rate because obviously we're still keeping obviously the majority of the book the same it will just be like additional sections and um, so go follow us on instagram dm us we'll send you over a code so you can grab it for a really discounted price and yeah we're gonna get back to work in Woohoo! Hello everyone. Dave's vlog takeover. Where Everyone are we going? loves David on Instagram. Everyone oh, fancies David on Instagram. <laughs> we are off to Morrison's because okay. we're getting some ingredients for I just ramen. brought the Tesco card in case you decide to go to Tesco. But uh -oh. I don't mind. We go wherever. Oh, is that Gwyneth? It is. It is. Bless her little heart. <laughs> shout Megan. out. Shout out to Megan's nan who just went past her. She didn't see us. Um, yeah, so me, mums are going to be at work, but me and Dave are going to cook. Or do you want to cook with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Are you supposed to be in the shot as well? We're going to get some ramen ingredients, so me and Dad and Dave are going to have it for dinner. I'm starving, but I don't, me and Carrie have been working on the book, so. I haven't really had time to make any food, which is not the healthiest. When the book will be options. out, when the this book is uploaded. Will be out, yeah, the book will oh. have been out for weeks when this is uploaded. Oh, wow. Yeah. Should go get it. Yeah. 
true. If you haven't already. David's currently back from uni. Yeah, it's very fun. Very fun times. We, fun oh yeah, we, was, we were going to film a video at some point, I think. Yeah. It might be up by the time you see this, to be fair. But we want to film a video where we talk about like from my perspective like graduating during the pandemic graduating um and david's perspective of still like studying during the pandemic because david's in second year yes which should be really interesting so i might see if that if that idea goes down well on instagram like if people would be interested to hear that because i think i would be like yeah. i'm i think everyone's perspective and is going to be so different so i feel like it will just make us feel united United as because a uni like, yeah. Such because I feel events. like we're all feeling like really quite like down in the down. minute, and it'd be yeah. quite nice to know that other people are feeling a similar way. Yeah. We had a success. We've got some, definitely some things we definitely didn't need. But um, that's the fun about going food shopping. Like I was just saying, I really miss food shopping at uni. I've got my mask on, so I hope you can hear me. I think it'll be fine. But we'll give you a little haul when we get into the car. We managed to get our spring onions, our bean sprouts, and then we've got some ba absolute bargains. Sorry, you're on my phone because my camera's about to die. And um, we're gonna do a little haul. So we've got our beloved bean sprouts. Um, they absolutely make They're the ramen. Down. They absolutely make the ramen, <laughs> so they are very much needed. They were only like 65p. I don't know, I didn't see how much these were, did you? 50p. 50p for some lovely spring onions. I'm a massive fan two, of onions. Were, those were why we went to Morris. Yeah, so now... the actual cheap things that what we needed. And then we got some cookies for dessert. So we, because it was like there was a deal on. We got some Morrison's own cookies. So we got some milk chocolate and some double choc. And then I am an absolute psychopath and got some Starbucks drinks. Some, some, of those drinks, bad boys. some two of those bad boys and then we got basically the morrison's hot food counter is insane like absolutely mental <laughs> david was like five, five mac, and, mac cheese and cheese bites bite. there's about 30 in there there's supposed to be five yeah and for so. one pound 30 as well so get the bargains at morrison's on a sunday afternoon just before it closes at four yeah. that's my advice for the day me and Dave are just about to make some ramen. I've been working with Carrie on the latest book launch for the last few hours and now we're just about to, yeah, make some dinner because I'm really, really hungry. So, but yeah, I've just had a little bit of a meltdown, a little bit of a cry. It's fine, <laughs> we'll get over it. Oh, I'm just struggling a lot with like body image and stuff the last few months and I just addressed it on my Instagram stories and I'm just feeling a bit vulnerable and overwhelmed and scared to like now log back in even though I know it's so important to share stuff like that because I don't want people thinking that I'm super confident all the time um but yeah I'm gonna go make some dinner now and try and take my mind off it so we've got the chicken in the oven I've shown this recipe before so I will leave the link to when me and Ada made it for the first time down below um and we did like our first impressions but it's literally my favorite um meal when we use the gusto recipe online it's basically the exact same as the wagamama's recipe it's obviously not exact doesn't taste the exact same because they clearly use like a secret recipe so we've got the noodles going here david's got the broth going and then we've got chicken in there and then the veg to put on top it's delicious this is like my favorite like veg toppings on like ramen it's like onions chilies delicious yummy <laughs> 